In this video, we're going to take a look at how we go about drawing a housing joint. Now, a housing joint is a pretty simple joint to draw, uh, so we're going to take a, a little bit more of a challenge in this here, and we're going to draw an exploded isometric. So I'm going to start by drawing two squares at 30 degrees left to right, and then I'm going to measure eight squares uh, along the other direction. Then I'm going to measure down five squares, put a little bit of a mark there, and measure two squares, and then another five. I'm going to make a block out of that there. I'm going to project the lines around the two squares in the middle and I'm going to put in a middle line that you can see there on the right and I'm going to measure the same distance in on the left. Quite challenging to do this here. Uh, you can slow down the video and go back to see how that was done. I'm going to take a line out now which would be in line with the actual joint as if it was running into it. This is called an exploded isometric. I'm going to measure out uh, 10 squares along that piece and I'm going to measure 2 in height and I'm going to square it right into the block and it's pretty simple to draw this one here and you can see it's overlapping the one on the right a little and I can go over the outlines of this heavy then now you could draw it assembled which would be an awful lot easier but it does look very impressive and you have all your lines from an isometric grid paper uh, the proportions that we're using as well too are very straightforward so if you want to take a look back over this here just slow it back down and take one piece at a time put in the end grain to make it look like it's the wood you have face side face edge which you could place on that there now now technically the face side face edge would be probably better to the outside of piece B but for the practice piece if we're making it uh, this is the way we would go for the arrangement. Now for the setting out of the piece, I'm going to draw a line at 30 degrees, measuring out the squares I have for the block of the wood, I'm measuring one square for waist, measure 10 for piece A, draw the line across it. I'm going to allow three squares for the uh, piece in the middle, but I've taken it here at the top of measuring back five, two and five, and it's leaving me with three squares here, just the way it has worked out. So, just a few, make sure that you get those kind of proportions right, then we can square them across. You can see there now I've taken it back and moved in the other direction now. So I've measured my three for the middle of the waist, which we wouldn't actually measure, and I can go heavy with the outline for the waist. And go about my outline of the piece. Now I've put in a line there that I probably shouldn't have put in heavy, which is to accommodate the actual housing or the trench of the housing. And uh, we can go back over this here. Fortunately, I'm using a fairly soft pencil, which is easy enough to rub out. And we need to place it in here where this drawing is going here now. This only comes down to half ways. And again, use your parallel lines at the 30 degrees. And the waist is shown there, as it would be if we're making the piece. So I'm measuring piece A and piece B. quite challenging now to draw the isometric of that. Uh, sizes are what we need as well too, so you could put the sizes on this in the, uh, the setting out as opposed to putting on, on the uh, isometric because we might be a bit challenged space wise there. And uh, all the information that we need to draw or make this now lies in front of us and our piece should be set out as we see it here in the setting out of the piece. So we have 100, 50, 20, or 18 if the thickness of the wood is 18 which is probably stock size and uh, it's just down to what we have in the woodwork room and 9 for half the depth on piece B and uh, we can put the overall stock size out on the end there irrespective of whether it's 20 or 18 uh, it still goes to half ways and the whole idea of having your setting out in front of you is that you can check your piece to make sure that you have your setting out done accurately. That's uh, the housing joint. 